guys, Rambly Bob here again. Okay, so this is another important update with the Pecron E2000 LFP. Now, if you guys have been following the channel, we have a scriber named Kevin. He's a pretty cool guy. I've talked in length with him many, many times on our channel, and I always wanted to help anybody if I had the knowledge or if I had an idea that might help. So I might have found out, if you guys remember, he had that weird sound coming from number two, which number one is usually the charging board right here, and number two is usually the charging board right here. Now that can be obviously swapped because they have little cables that go, but I, the way I did mine is I did number one to this board and number two to this board. So on his board behind this little Pecron thing is a very, very tough to reach charging board. That is the MPPT charging controller for the batteries for this port up to 600 watts from 32 volts to 95 volts and he was having when he was using a higher voltage i think about 80 volts um he was having a very strange fan sound uh where it's like a brrr kind of sound I, i'm not very good at making sounds <laughs> so uh I, I have his video on my channel if you want to go see it in one of the updates for the pet ground but he was having a very strange sound now as um as I, a lot of people know that i have a pretty okay knowledge of electronics on the inside i don't know everything and i don't claim to but i do have a working concept of common sense in my brain as far as how things generally work and with fans i am very familiar with fans uh, because i use them in my line of work with this uh, uh, sound engineer we have to cool all our equipment so with a fan you have basically a pin that goes in the center of a fan and then the blades go around it if you look at your house fan you'll see that you have a central hub which is kind of like a pin and then the the, the blades kind of go around that as it's like pushed onto the pin usually a lot of times they're either screwed on or pressure fit now a blade or a fan um uh, blades can get um, bumped around in shipping or they could get um, when 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 you uh, put a lot of voltage in there it heats up and remember those fans are plastic guys so my idea was I wanted Kevin to try something and he said it really worked like I was I was shocked that something so simple and ironically so dumb of an idea really helped him out and I believe he's gonna be able to enjoy his system much more now because of a simple simple thing okay so sound waves can affect a lot of uh, things as you know um, if you put very high sound waves uh, it, it literally can shatter glass or manipulate things right so what I call it is, as dumb as it sounds, guys, it's a dumb idea. It's called the knock test. So when you're charging here and you're pulling in either high voltage or high amps or high uh, uh, wattage, either of the three, um, these fans will kick on. There's one here and there's one here. There's also two here and two on the inside, but the two here is the ones we're referring to. Now, these are actually screwed onto this piece of plastic. This is a molded case, and they have four screw points right here because I literally open this entire system and I change my board so I know exactly how this system is made now uh, and where the pieces are and the access to them and how hard it is to get to these little bad boys it's like a separate little case here underneath the battery and you got to take the whole battery out there it's a pain in the butt guys so um, uh, here is the charging board number two and here's the charging board number one now on the top if, if you could hold on one second maybe I have one here I don't know if I do or not Oh, uh, yeah, I, I think I put them away. Okay, well, you guys remember the boards where it was like a little board, and then there was the cooling sink, that heat sink thing, and then on top was a little plastic fan that has four little screws, and then you just pop it right off, and then a little positive-negative plug, and you could take the fan off. So if you screw that fan on too tight, okay, plastic likes to rub against fan blades you hear it a lot of time if you have a home fan and the and the blade is leaning too much against either the plastic grill which is that you know safety don't put your fingers in their thing or the case and it'll go like that and make that weird kind of um almost like this you hear that sound kind of like that as it it's, it's spinning it's rubbing against something like that okay right so um sorry about my sound effects they're not hollywood top quality but uh th th that's the sound i'm referring to is he was having it on his fan so i told him as dumb as this sounds i said when it's doing that do yourself a favor and put your fingers like this like you're going to knock on someone's door and go like that 
And he said that he did that and knocked a little harder and the noise stopped. You know what that is, guys? The very simple thing of an earthquake kind of uh, um, uh, effect where his knocking literally jolted the fan a little bit away from the plastic housing and it stopped making that noise like that. Guys, as dumb as that sounds, that simple knock fixed his system, we believe. He's still testing it, but he said it stopped. When he tapped on it, it stopped. So unbelievable, maybe the pin is a little too, uh, because you know his system was new, maybe the pin either heated up with the housing of the, the little plastic fan. You know, those are cheap little fans. They probably cost a buck, you know? And sometimes when they heat up, that plastic will expand or contract with uh, heat or cold. And um, it, it's amazing that, that he uh, just verified tonight uh, through the comments of another video that that actually worked guys so if anyone else experiences anything like that with sound coming from either one of these boards maybe something as simple as a couple knocks like that will literally loosen that fan away from uh the 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 cooling sink or the housing of the fan just enough to make it kind of shut up you know what i mean so uh awesome and then of course you could put your ear to it and still hear um, if, if the fan is still running or not, because you'd still hear the blades turning, uh, especially when you put your ear right here, like a stethoscope. A doctor puts this, uh, that little thing right to your heart, and it can hear all that. Well, you can put your ear right here, and you can literally hear if this fan is on or this one's on. I've tried it with my system, and I can hear them clear as day when they turn on. So that's something to watch for. That way you know that the knocking didn't you know, knock the fan completely out or anything. I don't think so. I mean, this is this is a 50-pound box. You'd have to knock it pretty darn hard. But imagine that, guys, something as simple as knocking on a piece uh, of uh, uh, hardware, which it, th th this is where I had the idea. For those of us who are old enough to remember, okay, I'm not a young, uh, a young feller no more. So my dad, when I was real young, way back in the 70s, okay, way back in the 70s, we had those little black and white TVs. You remember when uh, people landed on the moon in the 69 and everything? Well, in the 70s, they had the, the little rabbit ear antennas and everything, and you had to adjust them. And you always used to get that fuzz. You remember the fuzz on the old TVs, the black and white? Well, your dad used to walk over and go, what the hell's wrong with this TV? And go whack and whack it upside its head kind of thing, you know, which a lot of us were trained that way as kids. But, you know, you'd hit the side of the TV, and next thing you know, the TV was crystal clear. And that's where the idea came from for tapping the fan. And lo and behold, according to Kevin, it worked. So, uh, guys, if you experience any of these problems, uh, I have Kevin. He's going to uh, comment on this video as soon as I uh, put it up. And he can verify that, uh, at least temporarily, it worked. And anything that makes your system work better, I'm all for, guys. I'm part of the team here. Um, like I said, I, I, I don't get paid to do these videos. I just really enjoy this. It's very fun. I only get commissions if you guys use those links to buy something from Amazon. Other than that, I don't, I don't get paid from any company or anybody else, not even YouTube. I'm not partners with anybody other than that Amazon thing that my wife uh, signed me up for. And then there's that buy a coffee link where if somebody were to buy me a hot chocolate, that's the only way I'm connected to these things. So Kevin, thumbs up. Awesome. I, I, I'm glad you can enjoy your system now uh, i would keep an eye on it just for another week or so put your ear there make sure that the fans are still turning make sure that the heat is not going too high uh that way you you can ensure that the fan is still doing its job cooling except it's not rubbing against the darn case all right guys ramble on be safe this is an awesome update guys please like thumbs up uh when, when kevin posts on this like his comment because other people are going to see it and that might help them with their system if anyone else experiences that Oh, this is a cool day, guys. All right, ramble on. Be safe, and I'll see you next time on Rambling Bob Reviews. Good luck, Kevin. Bye.